Hi, I'm George with Intero Bang, and we're out front of Royal Canadian Legion Branch 317 for a Remembrance Day special report with a Canadian Forces veteran, Major Bruce Stock. My name is Bruce Stock, Major Retired, and I'm the Public Relations Officer for Zone A6, which means the Legion branches uh, in the London area. I had uh, service as both a, a regular uh, soldier with uh, Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry, and that was during the time of the Cold War. So I th then got out in 1968, and 21 years later I was asked to re-enlist. So I ended up in Bosnia in 93 as a, as a uh, public affairs officer, and uh, that was a fascinating six months. So I knew by the time I was eight or nine that uh, I wanted to serve my country. Well, it, it was pretty easy because Dad was a, uh, a World War II war hero. Uh, and he fought with the Algonquin Regiment, uh, which helped liberate Holland. But Dad, bless him, uh, never ever said a word about uh, what I should be doing with my future or career. And so the word Army or, or, or Armed Forces never came up. The, the medal, the first one closest to my tie is the, uh, the NATO star. So that recognizes my service with the, the NATO, the Canadian Brigade serving with NATO in Germany. Uh, the next two medals are for my service in Bosnia and then also as a, uh, a UN peacekeeper. And the medal on the, uh, the, the far right uh, is my uh, good service medal uh, for, uh, as a, it's called the CD, the Canadian Decoration and uh, you get that for uh, behaving yourself. Whenever I spend time with young people, which I always welcome and look forward to, um, I'm able to tell them the story of why remembering is so important. And, and the, the interesting fact is that we have 117,000 reasons to remember, because that's the number of our Canadians who made the ultimate sacrifice uh, during the, the two world wars, Korea, Afghanistan, and all the uh, peacekeeping missions. But you know, George, they were like you and, and Jordan the cameraman. They were young people at the time, living a perfectly normal, peaceful life at home. But their country called, and they answered the call. And off they went to, whether it was a, a direct war, or a peacekeeping mission, or Korea, or Afghanistan, uh, and they ended up making the ultimate sacrifice. So when we say we will remember them, that's at least the 117,000 who made the, uh, the ultimate sacrifice, but also all the others who are, are, uh, were able to, to come home, such as, as my father, uh, and, and our current veterans, uh, who are, are uh, still living and, and serving their country as veterans. 